Hi and welcome back. I'm Jody. And welcome to our final day of our 30 day Mind Works Challenge. That was just a mind trip right there for you from our fellow friend, Devin Bison. I psyched myself out there for a second. Either that or he's losing his marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me of the Peter Pan story. When that other guy, I don't even know his name, that character, he loses his marbles and he can't find his marbles and he's looking all around the house for his marbles and then Peter goes back to Never Neverland, everyone thinks that guy's crazy, and one of the Lost Boys gives him a bag of marbles to return to that guy and Peter's like, oh, he really did lose his marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That is such a great Great story. childhood memory of mine. <laughs> you just went into a real trance there telling us about that story. Yes. Like Alice in Wonderland, Mad Hatter. Down the rabbit hole we go. And that's where we're going, down the rabbit hole, as we... Recap? Recap for our month. Yes, this is the final day, like we said, of our 30-day challenge. So we're recapping. What have we accomplished in the last 30 days, and where are we going? Go ahead, Devin. Well, we've accomplished many things. We've created at least two videos in a week. <laughs> yes, two or three videos a week. Very good. Come on, pat me on the back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll pat yours if you pat mine. Yeah. Say, hey, whatever. We created a couple videos, a few videos a week, put together some scripts for hypnosis. we got tons of them coming up. We've done a lot of studying, learned how to overcome procrastination. We've been overcoming We've been stepping outside of our box. We have. It's true. We've been doing the 30-day Mind Works Challenge with you as well because even though we've done a lot of these things before, you can never do it too many times. Right. It's about consistency. And if you exactly. know anybody who has self-esteem, you'll know that they are consistent no matter where you see them. If they're in the grocery store or whether they're at work, they make consistent decisions. They have, they're have, they consistent with their workout routines or their regular routines. They're consistent with their life. If they're not on emotional roller coasters like my friend over here. Which leads me to a great question, Devin B. Tell me. Master in consistency. What does it mean to be consistent when you are like emotional? Yeah, let's just say you have like you feel angry, you feel sad. Do we just hold these emotions in and be happy all the time? Never. Okay, exactly. So explain to us. How do we stay consistent through our anger and through our sadness? As you much as you never hold in your emotions. You need to let it out, which is a very great thing. But you need to also let it out and deal with it. Okay. And accept it. There's a number of different avenues. You follow along. We're going to be getting into a lot of the avenues. One is just journaling. Yes. A very simple one. A lot of people that have a high self-esteem, they journal. They read a lot. They and they journal. Outlet, yeah, exactly. they have a creative outlet. Yeah, they have a creative outlet. Maybe they do art. Yes. I like to do that. Draw little pictures on my iPad. I mean, maybe they make love or go kickboxing. <laughs> I'm sure the make love one is something you do. Tried it, I tried it once or twice. <laughs> That's when I tried it twice. That's it though. I will not admit any more to you two. That, what else? That is um, so for Right, so you're being consistent though by um, acknowledging your emotions. Yeah, very and letting important. Them out. Super important to acknowledge your emotions. That's the, one of the first problems. When you start to deny your emotions, you that's what puts you on an emotional roller coaster. Yes. No, I don't I don't want to feel this going to make you want to feel that. You're going to feel that. You have no choice. Exactly. Which is what we've been talking about. That's how you get through the procrastination, the motivation. That's what goals are for. We've set goals. That's what having a vision is for. We've created a vision. That's what taking proactive steps to achieve your goals are for. And that's what we've been doing for the last 30 days. Now we have a schedule and we're ready to take on more clients. We're ready to expand our horizons and help out more people as well as help ourselves on this journey to having great self-esteem, to having a great lifestyle. Right, and we're going to take you there. We're still going to do videos, but we're going to narrow it down, make it a little more condensed, to once a week. So we'll still try and keep them fairly short in terms of what you get to learn and what tips and tricks. And like anything, even though some of these things you might already know, we have to teach you the basics. As we continue as well to grow and learn more, there's a lot deeper stuff we're going to be teaching you and cooler stuff and that's why it's great to even listen to the mp3s. Uh, in the meantime, you got to learn the simple shit first, my friends. There's a message right there. If you want to learn the deep shit, you got to learn the simple shit first. <laughs> exactly. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be continuing to bring you that great stuff. 
listen to the MP3s. They're free for now. When we start selling them on our website, we will be selling longer versions of them. So definitely take advantage of the fact that you this get this next one will be pretty fabulous long. MP3. Yeah, exactly. But that's it's gonna a free be pretty one. long. Yeah, true. That's that's great. We're, We're working diligently for you, for free, and for ourselves exactly. because we love it. Yeah, it's great stuff. We know you'll enjoy it. We love to look good. The next one is called the art of a daydream. We love to smell good. How cool is that? We love to smile. We are friendly people, if you let us teach you how to have lots and lots of self-esteem. So until next time, remember that you are fabulous. Thank you. So are you.